All right, so here we are. Putting the center board in now. We have enough water clearance that I can do this without damaging the bottom of it or breaking it off, anything like that. Seat is in place. And everything is ready. Covers are off over there, so when I'm ready to go out, I'll be able to see where I'm going. And now I will show you the inside of it, so you have an idea of how it looks inside. So here we are. This is really the equipment. This this is probably the most important switch that you'll find that operates the batteries. So I will turn into position one. And this is indicator of both batteries, how much power is actually in, in both of these batteries. So as the power is on, here are all the switches that controls each of the equipments or feed power each of the equipments that's here. So one of them is Raymed in radio. I can turn that on right now, which is the chart water. I have a navigation lights that's on top. This switch controls whether I have a static light when I'm on or the boat is being static. I anchor someplace, I turn the white on. When I'm moving underway at nighttime, obviously don't need light during the daytime. Uh, I turn this uh, triple light on, which is green red and white um, you know while I'm moving underway so that would be for that navigation cabin lights I have a light over here that I need you know nighttime so I can see 12 4 DC that's for these plugs that uh, I need to work on there's uh, you know a little bit of malfunction at the moment so I need to fix those but this switch would be for these plugs uh, then I have a water pump which is over there this is for stereo, which is the music that would be right over here. So here, uh, if I turn this on, this can link to, I'll turn this on, there we go. So that's that. Now here I have a chart so I can, you know, this, this actually show me location of the boat and where I am. Um, it also let the other boats around me know that there is something in the water as of my my boat so it it monitors the traffic and it shows you know life environment of what's on the water right now so uh, i will be using this a lot when i'm offshore because it will show me my position and and the navigation itself you know this is probably the most crucial piece of equipment on the boat that will uh, keep my heading and uh, position straight, which is crucial for my journey. I need to know exactly where I am and where I'm heading. So this will take care of that. Uh, this is remote control for uh, this autopilot, actually, that's being connected to this. And it can control the course of the boat. Um, not sure how much I will actually use it, but I do have the remote and I can use it when needed once I'm offshore. This switch is for the autopilot. I don't have it connected right now. I'm not really using it. I don't know how much I will use it. I'm trying to learn and use the boat without it because chances are I won't be really using it anyway. So, but I have it, the boat has the option. Here is the radio that I can talk to other boats or, you know, other place people when I am out. Uh, I'm not really using it a lot because I don't have anybody to talk to, obviously, and I don't think I will really be using it at anyway, but you never know. And in case of emergency, this thing is here and it's, uh, it's ready to go. This would be the emergency settings of it when I need it. Hopefully I will never need it, but this is in scope of what radio navigation switch power battery and that's pretty much the the gist of it then underneath there is a compartment that i i will have a desalinator which will make me um fresh water from salt water the desalinator is still getting shipped to me right now so i don't have it yet but 
that will get installed right over there and that will be my water making that is probably the number one most important piece of equipment on the whole boat because my survival is inherently important and dependent on that device itself if that device fails I am done so I need to make sure that works unfortunately the previous owner uh, had problem with the device and he had to use his manual one and that was a hardship for his journey so I'm hoping that I will get this one going and in a good condition so it will work the way it's supposed to and I can actually uh, survive and be able to have drinking water without using manual pump which would make my journey more difficult. Uh, and here is my overnight bag because I'm going to sleep out tonight on the water. I'm always trying to plan weekend trips so I'm out, I put more hours in, more training and and I experience, uh, you know, the the whole, the whole ocean and the whole kind of uh, experience itself, being just out on the water. And I can put more hours in. It's really pretty much what it is because the tide changes every six hours, and it's kind of difficult to be able to go out in and and in in one day. So because of the tides, so it's it's nice to be able to plan it for two days, and that's why I have this. So I, I can actually sleep out. In the back here is one more hedge that is a compartment. I can put more stuff in there. I will probably keep necessities in the back of here. This is my sleeping bag. I will probably keep more stuff in this, underneath this hedge. Right over there. And I'll turn off the radio so it doesn't interrupt my flow of thoughts but I can keep some more stuff there. I'll probably have things there that I need more on daily basis or stuff that I will be using more often and frequently and need to be here. Uh, whether it's a food for a week or phone, camera, anything, it will be probably under that hedge. And over there is another watertight airlock that I can put even more things, which will probably be the same case I will keep stuff there that I will need more on frequent basis and or if the storm or the weather is bad and I can't get outside on the deck that the things will have you know I will have things here with me so I don't need to go out so anything I need whether it's a toothbrush whether it's a cell phone whether it's my diary journal um, snack or I, I can't think of anything else you know hygiene vibes uh, it probably most likely be, will be there you know this is my snack for for the day so that's that's that here is another little compartment I have my documents there uh, I have my insurance there but i um, not really putting a lot of stuff here I I know Bryce had a little more stuff here on the walls he put a little bracket here that's broken off I have to <laughs> I have to fix it put something here myself because I did like the way he had this stuff wrapped up here and he used it to put a little more things up on the wall so I will try to do similar thing I just need to replace this and, and mount it this is my mattress this is where I'm sleeping and that's pretty much it when I lay down I can actually stretch my legs and put my back here, my head right behind, and I'm fine. I have a fire extinguisher. I don't expect to use it. I'm not planning on burning the boat down, even though I will be using jet boil to, to warm up my food, but hopefully I won't use it. But it's like a basic, uh, it is a requirement. I do also have an emergency kit. I have a life vest. It's all underneath that hedge on the other side. But um, I have some emergency blanket. But uh, the boat right now, the way you you know I have it, or you see it, it's really just for my weekend ride. So it's probably 70% um, empty as of what it's going to be while I'm out or 
while I am uh, on the on the water before I you know head out I will load it with all my food and all the equipment that I need and and so on clothes clothing for the journey two plus months um, and and, uh, and there'll be a lot of things here so right now it's kind of empty but I think uh, you'll have good idea about about uh, the space and the equipment itself that's it